Joe Biden heading into his first briefing on national security as the projected winner of the presidential election. Joe Biden has used this theater in his home city of Wilmington, Delaware, to convene a coronavirus task force and speak to the heads of some of the biggest companies in the world. But getting on top of national security is a completely different proposition, and that's proved to be a real challenge. President Donald Trump's refusal to concede means the formal transition can't begin. And that means Biden can't discuss intelligence with serving government officials. So he's making do with advice from outside experts. I'm not being critical, just stating the obvious. You know that I've been unable to get the briefings that ordinarily would have come by now. The little known General Services Administration has to set the wheels of Biden's transition in motion by formally recognizing his victory, known as ascertainment. We can't until we get that GSA ascertainment that authorizes us to contact government officials. And so we can't have any of those kinds of contacts until we, we get to that stage of ascertainment. Our experts need to talk to those people as soon as possible so nothing drops in this uh, change of power we're going to have on January 20th. But there's growing concern something could be missed. More than 150 bipartisan experts have written to the head of the GSA, a Trump appointee, reminding her that a similar transition delay caused by the contested election of 2000 contributed to intelligence lapses before the 9-11 attacks. Even though a handful of Republicans are pressuring Trump to share his daily intelligence briefings with Biden, he continues to challenge the election results.